things that I was doing. I was ahead of my time. I was thinking about creating legacies at the time. I was the, the youngest of three children. I was the least talented of three children. I was the person that even my parents were saying uh, I was an uncoordinated buffoon. So I had that all my life. If I'm honest, I put a lot of my success down to myself and thought that I was an overachiever. And I did so much more with the talent that I had because when I was 14 years old, I couldn't even get to my school 17. But something switched on in me and I said I was going to be the best rugby player that I could be, or I wished it, I dreamed it, I, you know, I did all these things that psychologists give names to now, but visualization, that establishing a strong enough why, doing all these things, you know. I went to Rosin Park, they put me in the fifth team, that told me that was no good. So what did I do? I went and scored five tries in <laughs> the fifth team, you know. And people to this day still say, Mark Fire could play, Mark Fire was only fast, Mark Fire was no good. I have had that throughout my career. I had that throughout my career, you know, St. Helens uh, directors, uh, you know, supposedly said I was an uncoordinated buffoon and still didn't want and still didn't want to sign me. And apparently Ray French tells a story how he went to speak to Doug Lawton. Doug Lawton didn't know anything about me. He uh, just heard this story about there was this winger down at Roslyn Park, uh, you know, scoring tries. And, uh, you know, the rest they say is history. What a magnificent effort from this lad when I uh, signed for Witness. No one gave me a, a second glance. I've still got the, <laughs> this is what, <laughs> this is shows you about my mentality. I still have the newspaper on my wall from when I signed for Witness. It was literally two lines. It was literally two lines. When Jonathan Davis signed for Witness, <laughs> it was every single paper. What happened the day that Jonathan Davis signed for Witness? I scored five tries in that game against Salford. So you always keep your, your thought patterns at that highest level and uh, you know you do great good. I would decide you know I, I probably scored just as many tries as, as I did at um, uh, at Witness as I did at Wigan but you know Wigan was the bigger stage and uh, you know I think I was a better player at, at, at Wigan and so many things but if you look at my stats it's pretty similar you know around about 140 games played and 180 tries scored, you know, give or take some tries, you know, so over a 10 year body of work, that is an incredible, you know, if anyone does that, I just say to you, you do that today, take, do half of what I did back then, any winger, mate, you're a millionaire, <laughs> guaranteed. to my uh, TikTok, you'll see a try that I scored. I think it was my 400 and something try for Wigan, right? I I run, I think I run, pick the ball up from the scrum, run 90 meters, pull my hamstring. In that moment, I'm still thinking, I'm gonna score this try, because I know that I wanna put this on my highlight reel. I understood the secret of life, and that's adding value to as many people's lives as possible, touching as many people with your performances. And that's what great players do, don't they?